Accessories. To do the job, all you need is T90A shielding paint and geovital grounding tape. You need a rough surface roller to apply it to the wall, uh, which allows you to put on a decent coat, because we don't want to thin out our protection. We do not support the use of or sale of what is called a, a grounding plate. These are a metal plate with an electrical wire attached and a power plug with just an earth connection. The idea is to place the plate within the coats of paint and then the plug can simply be put into a power point to make a connection to ground. We don't agree with that because besides the fact that these plates look very unattractive, uh, the grounding connection can easily be undone by someone needing a power point and not knowing what the thing's actually for. You know, they might not put it back. As the grounding is first and foremost a safety feature, we believe it should not be able to be undone so easily. Uh, rather than charging our patients a bit more money for an accessory, we'd rather send them to a qualified electrician to do the, pro to do the job properly. We're a bit like that. You're starting to know us a bit now, right? Grounding tape can be cut with scissors and stuck onto, its, uh, onto itself to make corners. Um, it should be stuck onto one layer of shielding paint and then over painted. Uh, adhesives um, can often be poor conductors, but this adhesive is a special one and it conducts very well. We normally apply two coats of shielding paint to get the needed level of protection. Yeah, it's a two coat system, that's what the tests are all based on. Um, if for whatever reason only one coat was to be applied, then the tape must still sit between two layers of shielding paint. So this is what you do. You paint a band of shielding paint around the area where the tape needs to go. You know, about a 10 centimeter, three inch band around the room uh, where, you need, where you plan to put the tape. Uh, upper corner and uh, over the cornices and uh, along the ceiling. When it is properly dry, you can then tape the tape onto this band and then shielding paint goes over it when you paint the uh, rest of the room again. Um, this way the contact um, is made with, again, the two layers of the shielding paint. Um, 